Hello YouTubers, Joshua Hanning from Future Morphs with some clutches uh, again. But before we uh, continue, did you check out the last video about Snake Day? Did you went to my website and did you find the hidden morph list? If not, then, uh, well, I will put a link somewhere uh, in the end or something. Uh, but definitely do that because this uh, upcoming Sunday is Snake Day Hout in the Netherlands. Uh, the biggest snake reptile show uh, of the world, basically. Maybe even the only one. I don't know if there are more snake shows, but it's definitely a really cool show. So if you are able to come, then definitely do. Um, yeah, it's a really nice show. And of course, I will be there as well with a lot of babies and some adults and some extra actions. But you have to watch the other videos for that. There's a Dutch version and an English version of that. So go and watch it. Uh, for now, we have three clutches uh, in one video because it's not that many. Uh, there's, for instance, just one baby of clutch 124 uh, from a palmetto uh, butter to a hypo lavender. Uh, we have um, five babies, but four just good ones of uh, snow to Syrah head micro scale caramel motley to scaleless amelanistic to Syrah head anery caramel. And uh, a big clutch, and we will start with those uh, of that clutch 123. It is a second clutch, uh, but from a Mimosa Tessira, had sun-kissed caramel anery stripe amelanistic to a lemon head amelanistic striped. So it is a second clutch, so maybe you've seen some of these babies before, but there are some quite nice ones in here as well, so stay tuned. So clutch 123 we will start with, so that's the... Uh, lemon to uh, mimosa to syrah and we start with a normal with some mimosa influence but like i said in the first video some are yeah more mimosa is than others because yeah the the father is already sort of an outcross so um well there was a male normal by the way this is a male caramel and we have a female to syrah it's almost, well, the same as the other clutch. They are almost a little bit buff looking, or some some of them at least. But yeah, they also had caramel and, uh, well, they have some mimosa influence, as I said before. So uh, then we have a female caramel to syrup. Then we have a male striped that still needs to shed. I just uh, made him a little bit wet. This is striped male number two, and I did wrote Mimosa here on this label because yeah, he has a strange color, like an overall brownish, orange brownish glow. Then we have this female that also is almost like an orange, but yeah, it's not. So it's yeah, it's Mimosa line, a melanistic tessera striped, but a pretty cool female. We have a female sun kissed. Let's see if I can. Whoop. Show you a little better, but yeah, also again with uh, yeah orange brownish glow, it's almost like castani color or so. But yeah, there's no castani in the line. So uh, that's a female. Then we have another female sunkist tessera, and just see if we can get them in one shot. So yeah, this is sort of like a normal colored uh, sunkist. It is tessera, of course, and this is the yeah mimosa version. So it definitely does something in the first generation. Uh, then we have a female honey, so that's a sun-kissed caramel. We have a female uh, Inferno Tessera, so that's a melanistic sun-kissed, that's Inferno together, uh, plus Tessera. It's also really nice and yeah, an orange look. We have a male Honey Tessera. Last one is a sunkissed striped female. So yes, yeah, sunkissed and striped always gives a pattern like this, like almost a sunspot pattern they used to call it. Um, oh well, she is had uh, hypo, had caramel of course, so could be a nice female. Then clutch one twenty four. This is the only baby that hatched out. Uh, yeah, basically as it should be. Um, there was one uh, other baby, but they had a slight kink. So there was a lavender, unfortunately. Um, but it's a clutch 124, female hypo. Uh, had palmetto, lavender, caramel, amelanistic. So yeah, a little bit of a lonely female. And then we have clutch uh, 119. Um, uh, with four good babies and one small one, but I will show you the small one because it looks cool. But um, 
So this is female amelanistic tessera, maybe super tessera, uh, het scalus anery, and pos het caramel. Then we have a female butter tessera, maybe super tessera, uh, het scalus anery. Then we go to the micro scalus, because yeah, dad is a het micro scale and mom is a scalus, so these are micro scalus. This is a female micro scalus butter. Het enery. We have a male, quite powerful breeder. So he's a micro scalus butter, super tessera, oh well, tessera or super tessera, uh, het enery. So yeah, if you want to go uh, more towards the butter side, it's okay. If you want to go to the snow side, you can do it. And yeah, he, uh, he's quite powerful. And the last one is a female, but yeah, like I said, she's pretty small. Um, um, so it's a female microscalus snow, uh, tessera or super tessera, and she is either home caramel or post head caramel. But she won't be on the morph list yet because, yes, yeah, she's just too tiny. So usually the experience is with the small babies that they just feed well, they just did not absorb all their yolk. So if she starts feeding, then usually after yeah, four, five, six meals, you can see them really gaining, gaining some mass and they are ready to go. But at the moment, I don't want to, uh, yeah, to sell her. So uh, she won't be on the list. The others will be on the list. So check them out now. And check the video here from Snake Day.